Hello to all my lovely ladies and gentlemen out there. My name is Claudine and welcome back to my channel. If you're visiting my channel for the first time, welcome. I hope you enjoy this video and would consider subscribing by hitting that button down below. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my six favorite cheesy items from Trader Joe's. So if you like Trader Joe's, if you like cheese, if you like them both, stay tuned. All right, do you have your pen and paper ready and are going to get started with that shopping list for Trader Joe's? Let's jump right in with their feta cheese. It retails for $2.99 and in my opinion is the best feta cheese out on the market. I personally am not a fan of sheep's milk, so finding a feta that was made with cow's milk proved to be very difficult until, of course, I went to Trader Joe's. I saw that they offered this and that it was made with cow's milk, so I figured I'm going to take it home and give it a try. And it tastes exactly what I would want and expect feta cheese to taste like. It cannot not be in my refrigerator. I use it all the time when I'm making Greek omelets at home or if I'm ever in the mood for just that taste of feta, I'll bust this out, cut off a little piece and just enjoy that bite. It is very, very delicious. So if you're like me and aren't a big fan of sheep's milk or looking for a cow's milk feta cheese option out there, this is it right here. Absolutely delicious and $2.99. If you are ever in the mood for mac and cheese but don't find yourself satisfying that craving because it is such a high calorie meal, high fat, I would suggest you look into Trader Joe's Reduced Guilt Mac and Cheese. This meal right here has 270 calories, six grams of fat, 40 grams of carbs, and 15 grams of protein. I think overall, considering what the meal is, mac and cheese, I think the macros on it are very reasonable. Um, obviously, I would wish the carbs were a little bit lower, but it is a pasta, so it makes sense. Now, I think part of the reason they're able to call it reduced guilt mac and cheese is because when you do open it, the portion is not too much. I would expect to see the container in here kind of full to the top. And at least after you've microwaved it, it is not the case. It's, um, it's not a big portion, but honestly, it is enough to A, satisfy that craving and B, to keep you full. So it's a really good, quick, easy, and relatively speaking, healthy option if you are ever in the mood for mac and cheese and want to satisfy that craving. The next item I want to share with you are these pastry bites. They have feta cheese in them and caramelized onions, and it retails for $4.99. There are 12 pieces in here, and let me tell you, I think I could probably eat all 12 in a sitting. I really have to restrain myself to not finish it all. It is very tasty and very, very delicious. Very easy to prepare. You just pop them into the oven, actually in the container that they are provided in, in this packaging and you just cook them according to the instructions written on the box and you're good to go. This is a really great option if you are entertaining guests and wanna have some kind of finger food option available, buy a couple of these, pop them in your oven. Again, for $4.99, 12 pieces, can't go wrong. Really tasty, really delicious option from Trader Joe's. Kind of staying in line with the finger food idea, we've got these spinach, ricotta, and feta cheese-filled triangles. I am not even going to try and pronounce the name right up here because I am sure no matter what I say, it's gonna be wrong, but just look for this packaging right here. It retails for $3.99 and it's very delicious. Now, even though it says it has cheese in here, I'm gonna be honest with you, you taste the spinach more than you do the cheese, but there are some bites where you get that cheesy taste that you'd probably want and expect. Um, that being said, they are still very delicious. That's why I've included them. They are very yummy and very quick. Again, you pop them in the oven. You've got an easy to go uh, finger food option if you're entertaining guests. And it's kind of healthy in the sense that there's spinach in there. You know, anytime we can add spinach to something, it automatically makes it healthy, right? <laughs> um, but honestly though, usually a finger food like this can be a bit greasy. You'll feel like a residue on your fingers. And when I made this, no such residue. My, I didn't feel that like greasiness. They weren't shiny in any way. So I really do like this option for that reason as well. 
Obviously it's a cheesy option. It's got the spinach, so we've kind of got that health factor going on and it's not greasy. So it's a lighter um, version of this particular finger food that I would definitely suggest you have in your fridge. The next item I would like to share with you are the Trader Joe's Roasted Gorgonzola Flavored Oven Crisp Crackers. These retail for $2.29 and this box is huge, 10 ounces for $2.29. And let me read to you here the nutrition facts. For a serving of 31 crackers, it's 140 calories, five grams of fat, 21 grams of carbs, and two grams of protein. And let me tell you, you're never really going to eat a full serving. It's so flavorful. Like, you know, I bought them very, not suspicious, but not with, with high expectations because really, is it gonna taste like gorgonzola? Come on now. It really does. It's really delicious. And if you happen to like gorgonzola and sometimes kind of want that flavor in your mouth, but don't actually want the cheese or you don't have the cheese, this is an excellent option to keep in your pantry because it tastes like gorgonzola. They're really delicious. And it's such an intense flavor. If you are familiar with gorgonzola, you're never really gonna eat the entire serving size of 31 crackers. You'll probably, I think at most I've ever had was 10 and I'm fully satisfied and have that um, craving for gorgonzola satisfied with just 10 crackers. So I think this is a really great option to have in your pantry if you're a fan of gorgonzola and either don't crave it that often or perhaps you just don't want or can't keep the cheese because it might you know, expire on you too quickly, excellent option to have in your pantry. And again, this is only $2.29, a great price. Now the last item I'm gonna share with you, it isn't really cheesy per se because it's these Trader Joe's Fig and Olive Crisps, but I actually really enjoy eating these with smoked Gouda cheese. So that's kind of why I lumped it in with the rest of the items here. I do obviously enjoy it on its own as well because it's got a very unique taste and flavor, but I've really, really enjoyed it when I put a little piece of Gouda cheese on top. It's an excellent complement to the taste of these crisps, and I think you should definitely have them in your pantry. It retails for $3.99 and is very delicious. Again, in line with the pastry bites that I showed you and the uh, spinach and cheese triangles, this is a great option if and when you're entertaining guests and want to have a finger food out, put some of these in a plate, put some various cheeses, in my opinion, Gouda, smoked Gouda is delicious with it, and you're good to go to entertain your guests. So that is it for this video. If you have any cheesy recommendations or non-cheesy recommendations from Trader Joe's, I would love to hear them. So definitely let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it that thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below and ding the bell so that you are notified the next time I do upload a video. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.